Let's see what this guy has to say about that star attack. But that star will soon be in firing range of the outer Destroy the large deflection towers on the surface, and the TIE fighters defending the approach to the trench. Fly down the trench and fire your photon torpedoes when you're within range of the exhaust port. Yeah, what he said. Now here we have the X-Wing and the Y-Wing in this level, because in canon, in the original canon, these were the only, I believe these were like the only main fighters the Rebellion had, and plus they were at the time, and plus they were the only, and plus, at the time the cannons, you know. Plus, they're the only ones shipped to the sent to the Death Star. Now, to get the white, now you uh, have to do the level in w the what in the specific ship they give you. You have to do the level in the specific ship they give you. But uh, you have to do the level in the ship they give you. But uh, you can play as in all the other ships, and uh, and uh, you can play in you can play in all the other ships. You can play in all the other ships though once. Once uh, you beat it, all the other available ships. So here's only the Y wing. Now let's hear what he has to say about the X wing, because you can uh, go. Let's do a craft description here. The Incon T65 X wing is the fighter that killed the Death Star. An almost perfect balance of speed, maneuverability, and defensive shields makes this the fighter of choice for rogue squadron, except when the mission profile disallows it. In addition to four blaster cannons, the X-Wing can carry a number of proton torpedoes. It's powered by four fusio thrust engines and requires an onboard astromech droid for peak performance. Yeah. It's also here to say about the Y-Wing, because uh, the first, the level, like the level where the Y-Wing is the default ship, but uh, you don't even get to go to the hangar. The Y-Wing is the workhorse of the Rebel fleet. It's not quick or flashy, but it gets the job done. The armor on this ship is extensive, and the shields will protect you from just about anything. Which is good, because you won't be going anywhere fast. The Y-Wing is used mainly as a bomber, because it can carry a heavy payload of missiles, torpedoes, and bombs. The other important weapon is the topside ion cannon, which rather than destroying a target, can disable it for later capture. Our cannons have a computer-assisted auto-fire feature, so don't forget that when you're in the heat of battle. That's actually, I believe that means uh, it'll fire automatically at target and at targets in front of you while you're bombing. I like to go to the back though and get the ship and pick whatever ship they have here in the back and pick whatever ship they have and get whatever ship they have in the farthest area here, just so I can like see the really long drawn out. Uh... Oh yeah, and you can just run around these hangars however you like to. I look at this, I can. Okay, with some, with some limitations. All the other hangers in the game aren't this big, but this is because they had to use... The reason why this hanger is so big is because they had to use... Uh, they had to edit this hanger for another level in the game. There's this, this hanger appears in a bonus level in the game, and they had to make it to where you could fly a ship inside it. The models of the ships here are actually bigger than uh, how they are in the game. Are, are actually bigger than the, the models of the ships when you're in actual like flying gameplay. I've read this opening crawl a dozen times and I want to skip past it, but I'm not going to because I'm a friendly guy. I'm just gonna check my messages on my phone. I can't. Oh, Squadron 2. Oh, believe that. It is a period of civil war. The Rebel Alliance is preparing a major attack against the evil Empire. Launching from a hidden base on the fourth moon of Yavin, the Alliance forces hope to destroy the Death Star, an armored space station with enough power to decimate an entire planet. Luke Skywalker and Wedge and Tilly's two young rebel recruits have joined the Alliance in, brave, in a brave attempt to restore freedom to the galaxy. I'm thirsty. Yeah, so you feel drink is just being thirsty. <laughs> I don't have a tripod. My tripod is uh, with my dad right now. 
My dad gave me his good tripod. Yeah. So I'm kind of just having to do this like like this right now. With uh, having it on my VHS cabinets. I don't know why, but uh, I tried. This isn't a widescreen, but I tried hooking it up to the TV in the other room and in um, the living room, and it wasn't widescreen there. Maybe this is just a stretch. Maybe it's just stretched out. Now here, just got destroyed the deflection towers. Oh, here it's orange on your targeting computer. The purple targets are optional targets, and the orange ones are targets they have to destroy. Oh, here you go. Maybe I'll do part of it in first person, part of it in third person, I don't know. Let's see, I think I'll do the sort of thing. Either they're right next to the wing, they're right next to me, so uh, we're, we're gonna set them after the guns. Yeah, they'll now they're gonna attack the little turrets on the ground here. All a lot, not all those green things in the background are uh, actual turrets firing. There's green effects to make it look like there's turrets all around the Death Star. Let's keep in mind this thing's the size of a moon. Now you could use your Pokemon torpedoes, but if you use a lot of things here, see the turret look like turrets? Nope, they're not actual turrets. And they'll attack, uh, they'll shoot whatever's in front of them if uh, they formed up with you. They're the one. Sometimes one force you'll have one next to you while the other one's trying to catch up. Okay, you're bringing in here a big wedge, two awesome pilots. I used to watch this one YouTuber, I think his name is Stupendous Wave or something like that. And the Stupendous Wave, he had like, I think that's his name, he had a, he had a bonus, had like a shrine to Big Star Collider. And go to your left a little bit, you'll see a bonus item here. Now this game has a nice feedback loop because this game has a nice feedback loop because because a nice feedback loop and that's because this game has a really nice feedback loop. Let me tell you why. Yeah, I'll do the Death Star part, uh, the, the, the trench run part in the first person, I guess. But uh, let me tell you why it has a nice feedback loop. It has a nice feedback loop because, or something like that. Uh, that's why I just it really nice because, yeah, you gotta get the gold medals to unlock everything, but the game rewards you for, but you can find bonus items to make getting gold medals easier, and you can unlock all these other ships to also make getting gold medals easier. Because you may do a better job in another level with another ship. So the game, so the game rewards you for getting better by making it easier to get gold medals, but not in any notice, like not in any like real way. That's really gonna be like, oh man, I could not have done it without that. More so, that it's like, oh that I helped. And yeah, they're they're the, the Tie Fighters here are gray, and so they kind of blend in here. Like 
We'll stay back far now I gotta do that. I'm gonna do part in first person. I'm gonna try his mod switching between first and third person. Oh crap, okay. I I uh, sorry about that. These turrets are easy fight are easy targets, so if you really wanna get a metal and uh if you want to get a middle help you unlock stuff, uh, I'd recommend just, uh, I'd recommend if you really want to get a metal for, uh, after destroying other targets, you, you can just destroy them like this. Now here's TIE fighters behind you, uh, I'd recommend breaking and then destroying them like this. I had this pair of uh, slip-on sketchers with memory foam, and uh, like, oh, I just realized these are Star Wars shoes. I'm like, what do you think they were? Yeah, they it's Princess, clearly a Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker on them. It's from the like art from the poster, and uh, she's out of the shoes. Like, okay. Yeah, let's start with Vader. Uh, you can break, and then uh, you can break behind them and try and shoot them, but if you shoot them, they'll just fly off. I recommend just doing this and dodging them like that. Again, I recommend just uh, stay. Though really, if you want to get a metal for speed, because you destroy enough enemies on one of the surf Death Star surface. And I'd recommend just stay like this. Oh, Han's gone. Alright, let's do this. Cannon, the uh, Y Wing pilot that survived, the random Y Wing pilot that survived that was a girl. I um, could be wrong. I lost my lives because I made a mistake when I went out of cockpit view and put one back in. When I meant to close my S foils. I should have mentioned that the X wing's S. Well, the X when you hold it, press the accelerate. When you click down the when you click the accelerate button to do your really full boost, the X wing doesn't have one. So you'll just be uh, so you'll just close your X foils and go and go at maximum speed, and braking all the way instead will just open up your X foils. Okay, this is a bonus level we can get for enough points. Death Star Escape. It's a first person shooter turret level, which is really fun. I'm not being sarcastic, I actually mean that. Okay. See you next time though when we do Ice and Cold or Ambush.